We're not going to solve the problems unless we reconnect to the timeless imagination of the world and we become not citizens of a particular place, but we become fully living beings anchored in the ground of our own being and able to express something of the creative nature of ourselves. And since I said that, in case I haven't already said it, creation is not something that happened back there. Creation is ongoing. And human beings, when we're in touch with our genius, becomes age, become agents of ongoing creation. And that's our real job. And right now, and again, I'm not predicting, but it looks like things are going to continue to get worse. And the things that are polarizing are going to continue to polarize. And people are going to look for scapegoats all over the place. And people are going to blame it on each other. And what, um, one way to get out of that is to find that which I came to life to do, that which I came to life to give. And as long as I said that, I should say that. When a person gives from their essence, from their natural gifts, and from their talents, they don't diminish those talents. Actually, the gifts grow from giving. The nature of human giftedness is when it's given, it grows. And so there's a lot of beauty that's possible when people find this part of themselves, which is their deeper inner nature, uh, satisfaction for the person and benefits for other people as well. Tribal people have songs for just about everything because sometimes the only harmony you can find is in a song. And people knew that you have to find ways to come together even if you have differences. And so one of the things missing in this world that has gone wrong is the rituals of how people come together. And now we have this ongoing ritual of how people find differences and divisions. And it's, it's kind of, it's heartbreaking and it's becoming more so. And so I think it's incumbent on us to try and imagine a way that, uh, or many ways that begin to heal the splits and fissures because everybody is truly suffering at this time, some more than others. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we did it and realize that in singing we find harmony. It takes all the voices. It sounds better when they're all in there. And all a person has to do is be their own note. We don't have to be the whole song. We just have to be our note and we're adding to the harmony and the ongoing song of creation. Thank you very much for coming out and for singing and for listening. Let's do it one more time. Azima